Hey guys, it's RJ. We're getting ready to go up to Total Line. We're gonna wait in line. We'll probably be number two. There's a guy that normally gets there really, really early. Uh, hopefully they'll have something this week. I have not been lucky the last like two or three times that I've gone to Total Line, but normally they're where I have the best of luck. So maybe they'll have a truck that came in today. Maybe we can get something cool. Just tune in guys. I'll, I'll be I'll be here. I'm, I'm awake. It's early. Um, I'm probably going to be waiting in line for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, but we'll, we'll see if we can get some footage during that time. I try to be polite. I mean, a lot of people, they don't want to be on camera. It's early in the morning. They're up there. They're hunting bottles. Some of those guys are flippers. They don't want their, their name out there, even though they post their bottles on secondary market. But we'll uh, see what we can get. Hey, guys. It's RJ. We're back from Total Wine. Uh, we didn't get any footage while we were there. Um, we were number seven in line. We were there pretty early. I mean, we had about an hour and a half before the store was open. Um, we were very unfortunate, I guess. They had a Rock Hill Farms drop, man. They had three bottles of Rock Hill Farms that they were giving out to the uh, first three people to purchase. And I've never seen that anywhere in the Metroplex before until just this week. And they were selling pretty close to MSRP, and I, I wanted a bottle for my collection, but I guess I, I snooze, I lose. I, I thought maybe, you know, Tuesday they do line up, but it's not till about 9.30 before people line up, but today they were there at like 7.45 in the morning. Um, that being said, though, uh, we still have a receipt here, which means we still bought stuff, so let's go ahead and show some of those off. We'll start with our cheapest one that we got, our first bottle. Um, they had the 1.75s, they had the 750s, uh, I'm almost done with my 750 and I don't know if I want to open those 1.75 up yet. I might use those as gifts because people do like the, the bigger handles, especially because you can use them for mixing. This guy ran us $24.99. Um, our next one on the list going up in price is another Buffalo Trace because they had a Buffalo Trace drop so that's why they had the Rock Hill Farms. We got a bottle of Eagle Rare. Uh, Eagle Rare we actually paid $40 for, so slightly above MSRP. Still very respectable price point though. And then we got one of these before, but we got another one actually. Uh, we got a big boy 1.75 liter of Buffalo Trace. That one ran us $47.49 for this big boy, which I think is an excellent price. I think last time they had these marked up even higher, so I'm happy to see these at that price. Um, and these are kind of the normal like Buffalo Trace drops when we say that there's a Buffalo Trace drop in the Metroplex area. Uh, occasionally there'll be some exceptions to that. Maybe there'll be a Blanton's. Uh, they won't sell that at Total Wine though. They'll do that for the raffle. Uh, E.H. Taylor Small Batch is another one that sometimes works its way into the mix. Um, but we also went up there to do a bottle swap. So we had, uh, he's a new subscriber to the channel. Met him today. Uh, he came in, he got him a bottle of Eagle Rare as well. But we actually did a trade and we got a, another bottle of Stag. So we're starting to, to be like Adam from Major Zero with these Stags. So we have the 22A and then now we have the 22B and then also up on the shelf above me, that's the 22A. And then over there on that shelf, we have a sealed bottle of Batch 18. So this will be our third Stag. Uh, we have never found Stag in store. I've never paid for Stag. I've always traded for it. Uh, so this one I traded for a bottle that some of you guys might be disappointed that I traded, but I enjoyed this more than Jack Daniels. I traded the Jack Daniels Twice Barreled uh, Rye, their 2023 Heritage Collection, for this bottle. The last one I traded for was that 22 as well, the 22A that's up there, but I also got that Red, White, and Blue Smoke Wagon as a uh, two-to-one trade. And the one before that, I traded a, a bottle of Bomb Burgers for the uh, Batch 18. So I'm, I'm still happy. We got some Buffalo Trace products. Nothing necessarily new to try other than the Stag. I don't know if we'll open this one right away. I have a buddy that's a huge fan of Stag, so maybe we'll wait and do a, a bottle uncorking right there, and we'll try this one. And when we do that, we'll do a comparison. So we'll compare the, the 22A and the 22B to each other. Uh, I hear the A is better than the B from the guy I got this from. But on the same time of that, like, stag is stag, man. It's good. It's high proof. This one's a 130 proof. Uh, I'm excited to get another stag. These are not easy to find in my area. And these big boys of Buffalo Trace, these are awesome because I like to give the 750s out as gifts. So having these big boys for the house for making cocktails or just drinking 
over ice is always nice, but always good to get another Eagle Rare and then the Weller Special Reserve. It's it's just fantastic to not have to pay secondary. My first bottle and my only bottle of Weller Special Reserve before this one was a 750, and I paid I want to say close to sixty dollars for it because I paid way over what I should have. It was like museum pricing in a store, but it was the only one I had seen in a while. Uh, now I see this all the time, so getting this bad boy for twenty-five bucks is a steal. If you guys like seeing some of these bottle hauls on what we get, uh, I'm curious to see what you guys haul off and, and, and get. Some people, they get some cr pretty crazy, pretty rare drops, others not as much. Um, I was also curious on if you guys have tried Kentucky Owl. They had a confiscated that was sitting up there, but it was $135. I don't know if we should have picked that one up or, or what, but you guys let me know in the comments. Please like, subscribe. Uh, this is just a quick, short video of my bottle haul.